and his family. I have a problem with the fact that the NAACP would give an award to a child and his family for undergoing mutilation of their reproductive organs. I have a problem with that. I have a problem. All the things black children are doing out here worthy of recognition. All of the things black children are doing out here worthy of recognition. All of the things black children are doing out here worthy of recognition. You have black children inventing things. You have black children scoring extremely high on these white racist standardized tests. You have black children saving people's lives. You have black children starting their own businesses and becoming multimillionaires. You have black children out here engaging in some of the greatest humanitarian work we have ever seen, but you don't award them. You don't highlight that. Instead, you highlight a confused child who has been allowed by parents and society to physically mute, mutilate himself, destroy forever his God-given obligation to reproduce himself, And the NAACP is going to hold that example up as the example of a hero. That organization has never been what we needed it to be. I used to be a member. I started a chapter in college. And I'm officially done with the NAACP until there is a change of direction. You've never been a revolutionary group. You spend all your time and money registering black people to go vote for white people. You do nothing else. You fight against nothing relevant, but you found time to create an award for a child abuse victim who was allowed by parents in society to mutilate himself sexually and change into something that God did not intend him to be. This is insane. And what makes this situation even more ridiculous is the fact that in the field of psychology, which I've studied for nearly 30 years, probably more than, in the field of child psychology, we are taught expressly that children don't know who they are, that children will flirt and fantasize about all types of identities that they want to assume. And that adolescence and pre-adolescence is a time for children to explore who they are becoming, not to select it. If you read the books on child development put out by white psychologists and child development experts, it tells you children don't know who they are. And they have to go through the growing pains to find out who they are. So you want me to believe that Zion Wade, a biological boy, turned 11 or 12 years old, and all of a sudden, he's able to defy all logic and common sense as it relates to child development. And at the age of 11 or 12, he now knows as a biological preteen, he started going through this as a preteen, as a biological preteen, he's now intelligent enough and worldly enough and experienced enough to make a decision as a preteen that I don't want to have children as a man. I don't want to live as a man. And I want to spend the rest of my life as a artificial female. You are out of your mind. How can we see this as healthy? How can we see this as normal? We see this as normal. No disrespect to you, Dwayne Wade. No disrespect to you, Gabrielle Union. And to little Zion, no disrespect to you. I don't hold Zion Wade responsible for what has been done to you at all.
You are a child, and your parents and your community should have never allowed you to make this decision as a child. Should you have chosen to do so upon your 18th birthday, they have no control. But as a teenager, you're only 15, you started going through this process at 11 or 12, a preteen, you had no right to do this. I do not fault you, Zion. I hold you not responsible at all. It is the job of parents to guide our children into who they are supposed to be. Which takes me to a comment that Dwayne Wade made during the acceptance speech. Which takes me to a comment that Dwayne Wade made during his acceptance speech. D. Wade said, quote, I will not joke about it. There's nothing funny. A couple of days ago, Mr. Dwayne Wade and his beautiful wife, Gabrielle Union, accepted an NAACP Image Award on behalf of their biologically born son. Not Gabrielle's biologically born son, she's just a stepmother, but a child who was born, Zion Wade, as a biological male 15 years ago was just granted the legal right to change both his gender and his name. And this, for some, is a cause of celebration. Not only am I wearing my activist hat as I discuss this most sensitive and controversial issue, but I'm putting on my doctor of clinical psychology hat. I'm putting on my child therapist hat. I'm putting on my educator hat. I'm putting on my certified school psychologist hat. Now, there's two comments that Dwayne Wade made in his acceptance speech that I'm having trouble with. And I want to say right from the gate, I'm not here to pile on to all of the other criticism that the Wades are receiving as a result of this situation. I feel how I feel, but I think I feel it for different reasons. Because as a statesman for the African race, any type of scheme or scam, campaign or agenda, ran on African children that threatens the survival of our people is something I have to speak out against. And so I'm going to offer my comments and criticism with the greatest respect. And I want to affirm that I do not support, encourage, nor condone violence against any human being for reason of race, class, culture, religion, sexual orientation, or sexual preference. Zia Wade should not be harmed, no matter how much we may disagree with that child's parent allowing this to happen. No homosexual, no lesbian, no bisexual, no transgender, no intersex or asexual person should be harmed for what they have done. I do not support violence against LGBTQ or against anybody else. No way, no how, I don't support it. I disagree with the lifestyle. But I do not advocate violence against anyone, and I want to make this very clear. Because when we have these conversations with the rainbow community, there's always this agenda to try to turn people who disagree with the rainbow agenda into people who wish harm against the rainbow people. That is a lie, it is dishonest, and it is disingenuous. And I would hope that members of the rainbow community would have enough maturity. I'm concerned 